second ever weekly reading vlog. I did not think that you guys would be asking for more after my first one, but apparently you guys really enjoyed it, so here I am. It is currently Monday, May 14th, 2018 at 9 a.m. I have so much shit that I'm supposed to be doing today. Uh, will it get done? Probably not because I never do what I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to unpack my bags from my weekend camping trip that I just came back from. It was whitewater canoeing. For my program for university, we have to go on like these things called ODPs and basically you could pick from three. So there was winter camping, which like, <laughs> No, your girl does not do cold well. Two was just like a regular canoe trip and then three was whitewater canoeing. So I chose the whitewater canoeing because I was like, oh, bro, that sounds so cool. You know, rapids, yeah, in a canoe. This is gonna be awesome. Um, It was not awesome. It was real cold and I was shivering throughout the entire night because my sleeping bag broke. There was just like a giant hole in it and it was like negative two. And then we had to buy a wetsuit to wear in case our canoe tipped. There was still ice on the water, even though it is May. So it was very cold when my canoe tipped, which it did, and I was very unhappy. But I mean, like, it was a cool experience going over the rapids and stuff, but like, never again because it was scary as shit. My whole life flashed before my eyes when I almost drowned and died. But it's fine. I'm alive. So I need to unpack that and then I need to take my wetsuit back to the rental shop, which I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm hoping that if I call them and I'm like, yo, can I bring it back later? Because I really don't want to drive down there because it's like a 40 minute drive and your girl lazy as fuck. So hopefully when I call them, they're gonna be like, no, nah, it's fine. We got you, girl, and I'll be like, thanks, homie. I also have to go to work at 2.45 and teach three basketball classes, and then I'm done at 7.45, and then I'm going out to dinner with Ricardo because I haven't seen him since I left for my camping trip, and he's like, I need to see you, I miss you, which is like, oh, cute. We're going to one of my new favorite places. It's called the Broadway Diner, and it has a Philly steak sandwich that's bigger than my head, so I'm so excited because the food at camp was so spicy and your girl cannot do spice at all. Like I find pepper, like table pepper, black pepper, super duper hot and everything had like chili pepper and like a shit ton of pepper that your girl cannot handle. So like I barely ate this weekend. I'm so excited for that sandwich, mm, girl. You guys might see Rafardo in this vlog or not. We'll see if I actually remember to film because I never remembered to do these things. But I figured I would update you guys on what I'm reading for the beginning of this week. I'm currently reading Game by Barry Liga, and this is the second book in the I Hunt Killers trilogy. I absolutely freaking loved the first one when I read it like last year. It was one of my favorite books of 2017, so like highly recommend. I have a review if you want to like, you know, check that out. Self-promotion, you know. <laughs> Why am I like this? I ask myself every day. I'm almost done it. I have like 20 or 30 pages left. So definitely gonna finish that today. It is so pretty with the dust jacket off. Like, can you just take that pretty book in? So nice. I literally just wanna like take the dust jacket off and display the bloody cover because I'm weird like that and I like that kind of stuff. Basically, the series follows a boy named Jasper Dent and he's the son of like the most notorious serial killer in his town. So everyone's kind of like scared of him and they're like, oh, he's gonna be just like his daddy. So it's kind of like the struggle of him trying not to be like his daddy. So funny. The characters are like 100% what make the book so great. Howie is his best friend. He's like my baby angel unicorn. He is so underrated and so funny and just the cutest little thing in the entire world and I want to protect him at all costs. Like highly recommend reading the series. Like I'm loving it so far. I gave the first book five. Probably gonna give this book like a four or five. Haven't decided yet. Depends on how it ends. I'm gonna go do what I'm supposed to do, maybe, probably not. I'll update you guys probably after I'm done work. So change of plans, I didn't have to bring the wetsuit back because they were super nice and they were like, oh no, just bring it in on Wednesday, no big deal. Now I'm picking my brother up from the GO station because he was in California all week for work. I'm the taxi driver, but I'm charging him a nice coffee. I was totally kidding. was like, you owe me a nice coffee. And he was like, okay, we can stop on the way home. So now I get a nice coffee. But I finished Game by Barry Liga. I think I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five stars. The ending, like that cliffhanger doll. Need to pick up the third book like ASAP.
up. I'm probably not gonna do that until later because I have other books that I need to read for like publishers and stuff. So that's gonna get done. Chillin', waiting for Curtis to hurry up his butt and get over to this car so I can go home and then to work. Cardo's a great date. He's already had two dinners and we're not at my restaurant and I'm pissed about it. I don't get the sandwich that's bigger than my head and then so we're at Kelsey's and they don't even have french fries. What restaurant does not have french fries? Or baked potatoes. Or anything good. How do you feel about this predicament? More beer. <laughs> Hello. It's now Tuesday. We're gonna go get our hair cut. And you guys have met Mr. James before, but I love yeah. him. So I've never got my hair cut because I like it long. I hate it when it's short and I can't tie it in a ponytail. So we'll see how this goes. I'm probably <laughs> going to be very bitter, but I don't have enough purple hair dye to not get my hair cut without having to buy another bottle to dye it. So it must be done. So how much are you going to cut off? The, I don't know, the dead part. I don't know. I don't like short hair. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess like this much. I'm mad. Well, then don't get it done. I don't have enough hair dye! That's Mr. James. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> the final product, it looks exactly the same, but a tiny bit shorter. I don't have any blonde on the bottom anymore. Apparently I use too much conditioner. I know, you use conditioner wrong. Yeah, you're only supposed to put it on the bottom, it's not the top of your head. Fun fact, now you're all gonna have healthy hair. You're welcome. I totally just realized, like, I haven't even updated you guys on what I'm reading now since I finished last book that I was reading. I'm currently reading School for Psychics by K.C. Archer. It was an arc that I was supposed to read, like, back in April, but I never did because of exams kicking my ass and me just crying in my bed the whole time. It's really entertaining. Like I'm only 95 pages in so like it could go downhill from here. It's about this girl named Teddy who has a run-in with the law and then she finds out that she's actually psychic and so she gets recruited to this like psychic school where they teach you how to use your abilities in order to one day work for like the government and the CIA and stuff like that. So it's kind of like that one movie, The Kingsman, I think it's called, something like that, where it's like a spy school. It's kind of like that. So far so good. Hopefully it continues to be good. I will let you guys know. I'm gonna go eat my blizzard that Ricardo brought me because he's a little sweet baby and so good to me. It's about all my plans for today because I don't have to work at all until tomorrow. So I totally can't eat my ice cream because the spoon is literally stuck in it because I put it in the freezer. I'm now a sad camper, but I'll go read and then it'll melt and then I'll eat it. Hello. <laughs> We're at my favorite place ever and we have the sandwich that's bigger than my head. I'm so excited. <laughs> what did you get? Salmon. He got two meals because he's bad. Hi, <laughs> it's Wednesday. We're gonna go bring back my wetsuit and then we're gonna go get my credit card fixed and then I have to go to work. What are you doing today? Just take a wetsuit back, <laughs> going to the bank, and then I'm going to work. Wow, we live exciting lives. We have hit the mother load <laughs> of french fries from Costco. The best french fries ever to exist on the planet. Thoughts? She agrees. She got a hot dog, but hot dogs are gross. All right, update, update, update. I just got off of work and all I did was read because it was only a three hour shift. Why they put me in for three hours, your girl doesn't know, but I'm now on 270 of school for psychics and oh my God, it's so good. I'm like actually loving it so much. I'm probably gonna finish it tonight because I literally have nothing to do because Ricardo's working, my mom's working, I have to pick up my dad at six, but then like literally nothing is going on. So you girls gonna finish this, that's the plan for tonight, and I will update you when it's over. Hi! It's now Thursday at eight o'clock. I'm about to leave for work because I work 8.30 to four. Thought I'd update you guys before I left, just so we get it out of the way for today. I finished School for Psychics by Casey Archer last night. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of five stars. It was really good. I highly recommend it. It was way more entertaining than I thought it was going to be. And then I also finished The Girls by Emma Klein this morning because I have no chill apparently, but I didn't really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. It's about this girl named Evie who is like trying to figure out her place in life. And then she meets these girls who are part of a cult and she kind of joins the cult and then you know, shit goes down, but I ended up giving it a three out of five stars. The writing style just wasn't for me. I was bored throughout pretty much the entire book. I kind of wanted more of 
like the thoughts of the cult members rather than just Evie pining after this one girl the entire book. So I'm gonna go off to work, probably just going to read the entire time there, so we'll update you on the progress of that later. That was literally like the longest shift ever. Oh my god, it felt like it took a forever, but we're finally done. We're going home. We got a lot of reading done though. I started Local Girl Missing by Claire Douglas, which is about this girl named Sophie who goes missing. Her best friend Frankie ends up getting a message from Sophie's brother saying that Sophie's remains have been found and that she needs to come back to their old town in order to like figure out what actually happened to Sophie because he thinks that there was like foul play and stuff. I'm like 200 pages in. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of boring to be honest. Like nothing is really happening. I think I have the whole like plot twist figured out but I guess we'll see when I actually finish it. There's like 300 and something pages so like I'm almost done it. But like no reading is gonna be done tonight because I have a lot of shit that I have to do. I have to drive my dad to football because he has like a game and then I have to drive my mom down to the car repair shop because we have to get our car fixed before we go to Erie, Pennsylvania next week because apparently our car is messed up so I have to go bring her down and then bring her back so that she can go home because we're leaving the car there overnight and then I'm going to Ricardo's for dinner so like no reading is happening it's just not gonna be a thing so I'll update you guys tomorrow it's Friday Friday gotta get down on Friday it's May 18th and um, I just got off of work that's a lie it's actually 5.30, I got off at 4, but I had to pick up my mom from her work and then we had to go drive down to the car shop to get our car back. And now I'm finally home, but I did a lot, a lot of reading today at work. I finished Local Girl Missing by Claire Douglas and I think I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Like I said yesterday, it was kind of boring, nothing really happened, and I was able to call what the big thing plot twist was. It was obvious to me. I don't know if other people found it obvious, but I was like, this is what's gonna happen and then it happened and I hate being able to call the ending of books, so I was kind of like <laughs> I also started In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, which I'm 110 pages in and I'm actually really really enjoying it so far. It's real creepy. The girl likes herself some creepy books. I think I know what happens, but could be wrong. We're only 110 pages in, so we're gonna see. Probably not gonna do any more reading tonight. I have to go take my phone in to the Apple store at 7.20 because it's being a little shithead and it like doesn't type and I'll charge it so it's 100% and then like 20 minutes later without me even touching it or playing with it at all, it'll be down to 50%. So there's clearly something wrong with the screen. There's clearly something wrong with the battery. I'm hoping I don't have to get like a full new phone because your girl is broke. So mm, don't wanna spend the money on a new phone if I can get this one fixed, but we'll see. And then I'm probably going to go out with my mom because today was like her last day of work because she's on disability now because she tore her rotator cuff so she can't do her job. She's a lifeguard so like can't really lift people when you have a torn rotator cuff. So she's a little bit upset so we're probably gonna go out. I would say you guys were gonna come along but my phone is gonna be in the shop so I'll probably update you guys again tomorrow. It's Saturday now. I'm filming on my new iPhone 5 because my iPhone is being sent off to Apple to be fixed. Phone's not getting sent in till Tuesday, which means I'm stuck with my new prehistoric phone until further notice. I'm done work for the day. I finished In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I think I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was actually really good. I thought I had it all figured out and that's not what happened. That's what you were supposed to think was gonna happen. So I mean, kudos to Ruth Ware because I did not see what actually happened coming. So. We like that in a book. Tonight, no reading is going to be done. I'm going to the movies with my mother to see the new Melissa McCarthy Life of the Party movie. We're back from our movie. <laughs> what did you think of it? It looks funny as hell. We like that movie. Yeah, when you go, oh, <gasps> when things happen. Yeah, you should all go watch it because things happen. It's very funny. I'm going to go shower. Mom's going to braid my hair. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, that's it. Anything you want to say to Curtis? Curtis is in California again. Yeah. I'm not jealous. As he says he got to go to, he got to see the Overwatch League in person. I don't know what that means. Oh, actually, everybody on here likes Overwatch. It's like a video game. So my brother works for Tespa, which is like the company. Owned by 
that's owned by Blizzard, which does Overwatch? Oh, yeah, they, yeah, 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 so yeah. he's important. He works at the scholastic aspect of the tournament, so behind the scenes. And so today he's doing, it's a card game, he, hearth, hearth and something, and he's looking after Asia. Asia. We'll update you tomorrow. Hi, it's Sunday. Actually, I'm home from work now, so I thought I would update you guys before I went inside because your girl's gonna do no more reading tonight because Ricardo's coming over for dinner, so reading's not a thing. I am almost done. A Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPena. I started it this morning at work. I'm like 240 pages out of like 300 and something. Probably tomorrow I'll finish it, but that will be in like the next reading vlog, which I'm just gonna tell you guys now is going to be only four days because I'm going to the States for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So like I'm not bringing my phone at all. You're only going to have Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday as a reading vlog next week. So don't be mad at me when that happens. So far, this book is hecka good. I am loving it. I'm pretty sure I have it all figured out. I'm pretty sure I had it figured out halfway through. It's surprisingly not getting rid of my enjoyment of the book. Like I'm still like loving it and I want to know what happens next. So yeah, that was my reading vlog for this week. Let me know down below if I should do it next week, even though it's going to only be four days and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!